Is outsourcing the answer to improving municipal service delivery? Well, it may be. And to find out more about this, I'm talking to Kheri Ulafir, who's Managing Director of Pragma Acuity. Good evening, Kheri. Good evening, Dave. Now, I see that uh, your company, Pragma Africa, um, has been reappointed by Ekoholeni Metropolitan Municipality until 2013 to operate their asset care center within their electricity directorate. Um, can you just explain to me precisely what it is that means that you do? There is the whole concept of an asset care center is a solution whereby Pragma as a company delivers a combination of experienced individuals consisting of engineers and system administrators as well as, as, well as data administrators along with the software technologies and business processes and, uh, and, and also the technology, the tools that we need to, to deliver an asset management service on engineering assets inside uh, the outlined environment. Now, what are those assets? I mean, are we talking about um, transformers and substations and things like that? Quite right, David. That's exactly the case. In, in the case of Ecuador Learning Metropolitan Municipality, we're talking about roughly 62,000 of these different types of items. And it includes everything, everything from your transformers to your uh, switch gear, your the lines, your uh, posts, all of those things are, are managed. Mm. Now, does, does, does the work that you do, are you able, for example, to extend uh, the services you render to a municipality to th- such things as running their, the accounts that they hold with their, with, with their rate payers and things like that? Not quite, no. That's the, that's the responsibility of the metropolitan themselves. What Pragma does is we put down the people and the processes to manage the, the, the asset itself and primarily then focusing on, on extending the life of those assets but also extending the reliability of those, of those equipment that are being used on the, on the floor. Primarily then driven towards making sure what needs to be done on the assets are done to keep them running and to keep them fit for, for service. I see. So, in other words, you're, 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 you're stepping in to assist municipalities that are finding difficulty in running these things themselves. Plugging a gap, yes. Um, I think it's fair to say that no, no uh, organization really is 100% staffed. And when you talk about public organizations such as the Metro, the reality is they will always be gaps. And what we're doing as a, as a professional entity is we're stepping in as an, an advisor to help them to, to balance this whole aspect of, of risk and performance in, in their organization. Now, so are you going to be able to extend this, uh, this service that you provide to one metro? I mean, are you talking to other metros or to other municipalities? Well, yes, that's, that's the truth. To be, to be honest, we've also got a very successful relationship with the, the city of Cape Town Metro, specifically on electricity distribution here as well. So, um, and, and talking at this moment in time also to the Tequini municipality, and, and we've also got a very good relationship with the Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela Bay Metropolitan Municipality as well at this moment in time. And it's all concentrated on the management of electricity assets, is it? Quite right. Uh, specifically here, Dave, we're talking about the distribution assets. We're talking about the assets down the line, bringing, making sure that we take care of those equipment that gets the electricity to the households mm. and, and also to the, to, the, to the businesses, the industry, industries that require them to operate. Mm. Can you extend this ability of yours to, to water? Can, 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 you, can you do that? Most definitely so. It is uh, the, the principles of asset management and, and of engineering asset management is what we're talking about. Basic mm-hmm. principles, really getting the basics done and the basics done right. And to be honest with you, we do have different relationships also. Uh, I can man- name one, Mahalis Water up in, in the West Transvaal, a very, very big client of ours for, for many years already at this moment. Mm. Well, it certainly seems to me that you might be able to provide the answer to the problems that so many of our municipalities uh, are suffering from, which is that they're unable to, to guarantee service delivery in critical areas. So, I, I mean, I certainly would hope that you're able to extend this. And I, is there any? Are you in competition with anybody else in this area? Uh, competition is a, is a strong word. I think there are many organisations that deliver service in, in, the, in the same space. There's no argument there. I think the reality is, Dave, that uh, that type of service that we deliver is an all-encompassing service. 
And and the fact that we take an outsourced approach to it, it is, it is a view to be an independent person, independent body that has got nothing to no no vested interest mm. in hiding any information. So the truth be the truth, and and let the truth become visible, and let it drive the decision making and at the end improvement. Yeah. Well, I must say it looks sounds very fascinating and. Uh uh, I hope that we see more of this developing over the next few years. We certainly need it. Thank you very much, Kerry Olafia, Managing Director of Pragmatic.